Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Orvi3 and WO, and I'm finally back. Uh, I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to get this video up. Uh, I keep saying that too. I keep I keep uh, leaving you guys. I'm sorry about it. Uh, uh, I had a had a good show at the ATA show. A good time up there in Columbus, Ohio. Um, I had some stuff when I came back that I thought was gonna was gonna be some big stuff that was gonna work out, and it, it didn't really. Uh, things are still going. We'll see how it goes, but. Uh, uh, you guys know kind of what, <laughs> uh, any of you, you guys out there probably know what I'm talking about when I start getting like that, but, um, anyways, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna start a series on girls very soon because I have a lot to say and, uh, got a lot of stuff to talk about that maybe I can help you guys out with on that. Um, anyways, this is a Ground War Dom game, um, and I'm pretty sure that I probably don't play the objective very good in this, so, uh, if, uh, if you have a problem with that, I'm sorry. Most of the time when I play in, uh, in like, mosh pit and stuff like that, I'm super duper objective. Super duper? <laughs> I'm really objective based, so... Uh, but in, for some reason in this ground war game, I can't even remember when I played this. This has been a while ago. I think I was just trying to, I don't know, trying to get kills or something like that. I look really campy right now. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, well, that's we had two flags. We were trying to hold them down. I really think... You probably don't want C on this map. I'm, I'm guessing that A and B is probably the better combo to have. Uh, C kind of spawns you out in the middle of nowhere back there, and it's really hard to get to either of the two flags without getting uh, really crushed. So I don't know why we we may just had to take these two. Um, anyways, in, in my group that we play with, we're not real... I really... My favorite type of games to play are the objectives. Domination, Demolition is one of my favorites. Uh, Search, all of those. Capture the Flag... And I would say probably me and uh, me and Lil Crazy. If you see Lil Crazy playing him, we really love that stuff. That's kind of what you know. We st use the strategy and, and try and beat people that way. And that's more fun to me now. Uh, I basically played all of Modern Warfare 2 and all of Black Ops, doing nothing but playing Team Deathmatch pretty much, or Search and Destroy, which is kind of just like Team Deathmatch. Um, so it was basically just kills, kills, kills. I, I got really tired of doing that. Um, I really like playing objectives and, you know, kind of getting my killstreaks if I do, but more often than not, I, I really like just just really pounding people in objective games. And I don't get to play that a lot because a lot of my friends are really, uh, they just want to get killstreaks and kills, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, it's just what they do, and it, we're just kind of different that way. Um, so it, it's really fun for me to jump into like a mosh pit type deal where you can just run through everything and, and play. Uh, I'm getting really off track. I don't, I don't really have anything to talk about. Uh, the show was good. I didn't meet nearly as many uh, people as I usually do. Um, most of them were just hunting guy, hunting people like you know Jim Shockey, that type of deal. Uh, Fred Eichler, Michael Waddell, guys you probably don't know unless you're into into hunting. Um, but it was fun. It was a good show. Uh, learned a lot of new stuff. Got a lot of new uh, info on bows. I may, I think I'm going to start doing that if I ever get a video camera, which I may ask for for like my birthday or something. May get some money together for that. <clears throat> if I get a, a really nice video camera, I'm gonna start doing some. <laughs> I'm not gonna turn my channel into like FPS Russia for bows, but I will start doing that. I'm gonna start doing some videos with bows and arrows, and I let you guys, you know, see me shooting them and, and kind of explain archery to you because I, I know that's something that you guys probably don't get to see a lot. Uh, may not be something you get to see at all, uh, and it's something I've been doing my whole life, so I, I know a lot about it and uh, I have access to it, so I might as well. But. Uh, but yeah, um, other than that, had, while I was at the show, I had a really good time. Uh, when I got back, some stuff fell through that was supposed to work a lot better, but it didn't. And um, so that, you know, that's kind of got me bummed out a little bit. But nothing real big, you know. You gotta you gotta keep your head on straight. You gotta uh, realize that not everything is supposed to work out. And if everything worked out, then you know. Uh, there wouldn't be any problems ever, and you'd never get any smarter or stronger or tougher or anything. So, you know, you just got to push through that kind of stuff. Hope it works out better next time. And, uh, you know, don't let uh, don't let stuff get you down. That's the main deal. Uh, try and keep your head up and just, just push through it. Because things always get better. I, I had a friend, and I don't really want this video to turn into this, but uh, the guy I went to high school with. And let me see where this video is. We're about halfway through. Um... A guy I went to high school with, I wasn't really friends with him, but I knew him. He's an acquaintance, you know, I would say hi if we saw each other, stuff like that. And uh, and he, he actually killed himself right before I went to my trip. And it just really, it kind of, 
I've had other friends or there were people in school that, you know, that did that when I was in school and, you know, there, there's a lot of stuff like that. And I usually, like, I just, I don't really feel a whole lot of pity for, for people that do that. And I, I've, I think everyone at some point in their life feels like really, like that's just the, the way to go. Like it's just better. It never is. It's not. I guarantee you it's not because it's not any better afterwards. What are you going to do afterwards? You're dead. There's, you know, uh... So it's not, and I've gotten kind of harsh about that, but, uh, you know, after everything that happened, you know, just kind of lately for me, plus hearing that, it's, uh, I understand when people start to think that, but don't ever let that get into your head. Don't. Just crush that. As soon as it comes out, just crush it, because I, I promise you, and I can guarantee you from experience, things are always, always, always going to get better. Uh, it may take it a little while. It may not be exactly what you want. And more often than not, when you think things are going bad, they're really not. They're just not doing what you expected them to do. And that's where it's real tough for us as, as humans. And <laughs> I keep saying as humans like there's anything else we could be like. It's real tough for dogs, too. Um, but where it gets real tough is we expect something or we want something to be a certain way. And then when it's not that way, we think it's going bad. And that's not necessarily true. You, you never know. I don't know if I'm, you know, if I'm supposed to get this car or that car, if I'm supposed to get this job or that job. I just know what I want, and when I don't get it, I get mad. <laughs> so don't, uh, don't let yourself get like that if you can. I, I know there's really no way to, to keep from getting like that, but try as much as you can to just kind of roll with things. Go with what, you know, what needs to happen. Just let it kind of happen. And, and, Hopefully, if it's uh, if it's supposed to work out, it'll work out. So, there's my rant for the day, and uh, I hope it hope it helped you guys. I don't know if it did or not. I, I really wouldn't even I don't know what I was gonna talk about. You probably heard me scratching my leg for like the last ten minutes when I talk. When I get serious, I always like scratch. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I didn't really have anything to talk about when I made this. I just wanted to make a video for you guys so you knew I was still alive. Um, the scheduled uploader worked great. I think you guys got to see videos while I was gone. Uh, I'm sorry that I didn't put more up, but I just uploaded them all, like, the the night I was leaving, or, well, the morning I was leaving, the night before that, I just started uploading, like, eight videos, <laughs> and I just put them all on the scheduled, scheduled uploader, and uh, it worked good, so I'll, I'll probably do that more in the future as well, um, hopefully that'll work, it's, it's kind of tough, though, because it, you know, it really takes up a lot of my internet, and I can't, you know, like, I can't play games, or I can't, you know, I can barely surf YouTube or, or anything else while I'm uploading, so, um, kind of tough for me like that, but, Anyways, thanks again for all the support you guys have been giving me. Um, things have been going really well with the channel. That's that's one thing that's really kept me going is uh, no setbacks on the channel I mean, whatsoever. Everything's been going really good. You guys are awesome. Uh, you know, leaving comments, let me know what you want to see. The Skyrim videos, I'm going to keep doing them. Uh, I don't get a whole lot of views with those, but there are probably like four or five guys there that watch those things and uh, really give me a lot of feedback so thank you uh, for watching those I have fun making them so it's not like it's taking anything away from me to make them um, and, and they're always going to be kind of extras like it's not going to if I make a Skyrim video it's not going to keep me from making a Call of Duty video so both both people types of people should be happy there I would think um, anyways guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it let me know what you want to see in the future this was a what 29 and 3 game I hope you guys enjoyed it and um I will catch you guys next time. Be sure to keep your heads up, uh, stay focused, and and don't worry about you know how life goes. Just kind of roll with it.